Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I'm back. This is just going to be a pop-up guess who read, okay? <laughs> pop-up read for you guys for the month of June. This is going to be for the singles out there. Maybe you ain't found your, your soulmate yet. Maybe you ain't found your twin yet. Maybe you, you know, you ain't even found yourself yet. Okay, and you're trying to figure out, you know, what's coming up for the month of June, from now until the end of June. What's going to be next for, for you? And so I decided to do a collective read to see what's coming up, what's going to be next for the singles out there that need some advice. Okay, so first we're going to look into, uh, let me see, because sometimes they be having little questions. So, what I'm going to put, first I'm going to ask is, for the single collective, all signs, Holy Spirit, include the energies, prior read, or just the Holy Spirit, for all the signs, for the collective, the single ones that may not have technically found their way yet, or found their twin, or found their soulmate yet. Okay, they need some advice. Let's give them. So this is going to be soul's journey. We, I'm going to give you a few of what your soul want to tell you that you can, you know, work on, identify what's going on so that you can find your love and find your true soulmate. Not no fake, puffy, fake shit. I'm saying true soulmate, your true self. What are some things that are, as the collective, the soul needs to work on, needs to focus on, okay, for now into the month of June, all right, so Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see, angels, ancestors, with the highest white light, we could do four, and then let's break it down, so what do we, I'm not saying we, I mean, because I guess I'm single too, but I also, I, you know, this is for the collective. This is for y'all. But I'm with y'all too. So that's why it's like we. But let's do this. What does the collective need to work on from now to the month of June? What's coming up? What's coming up for us? And whatever's coming up, what do our soul needs to work on? What do we need to work on to handle these situations? Okay. First card is your soul says you need to work on blaming others. Okay. Work on the blame game. If you can see that affirmation, read it out loud to yourself. It says, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So you got to work on being able to accept your responsibilities as what parts you play in the reason why you're single. Okay. Can't everything be on the other person. You got to understand what parts of you that you need to work on what responsibility that you play the part in 333 on the clock from now to the remaining month of june that can help you move forward right that can heal all right so blame all right thank you spirit what is another one we could do three. Ooh, forgiveness Okay, so I'm going to pull it up so you can read that out loud too. This is a big one for me. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So, yes, to let go of resentment. Even though people do you wrong, people, people make these decisions. We are all not perfect, okay? We do not supposed to judge others. And we do have to work on forgiveness. You know, forgive our enemies for what they do. The reason why is because it, that makes you move on to your next phase of life. Because you got to understand, as you forgive them, their, their guilt is eating them up more than anything. Yep, thank you, Spirit. So it's like, you don't have to harbor resentment because the only thing that's doing is blocking your flow of love. So new love can come in. So you got to heal your heart. And the first steps in healing is you can't blame other people and you got to learn how to forgive your enemies. As the prayers say, forgive the ones that trespass against us. And
then the last one is indecision. So read that affirmation out loud. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So we have to use our intuition. As you can see, that's what I do, okay? But I had to learn this, and I still sometimes try to put a little doubt in myself, and I know that's just Carmita Carmichael's trying to project. But I have to realize that my intuition is a part of me, okay? Intuition is spirit. Intuition is guidance. So you have to, don't be so indecisive about stuff. Follow your gut, not your butt okay follow your gut not your butt what does your gut tell you when you walk in the room and you instantly feel away ask yourself okay is, is this me or is this somebody else right as me being an empath i have to always disconnect my feelings sometimes because my feelings i can absorb energy so if I walk in the room and all of a sudden I'm getting agitated or I feel nervous and I know I shouldn't be feeling any of those things at that moment, I know that got not to that is not my energy. So I have to ask myself. Now another trick you could do as an empath is that you can ask spirit to show you who it is right so if you in the room and you're feeling away you can say spirit show me who this energy is and believe it or not the person who energy you feeling will move will rock they will do something out the ordinary to make you understand oh okay that's their energy that is a trick too so these are little just things you know you could do you know like i say you always follow your intuition that never is going to lead you down the wrong path now, I will say, make sure you are cleaning your energy to make sure it ain't no demons you're following, too. So, if you're around toxic people, you can't be, I mean, you can follow your energy, but make sure it's high vibrational energy. Make sure you're not following, I would say, low vibrational demons or energy that, you know, is telling you to do some wrong shit. Because that's not what you're supposed to be following okay you ask that's why you have to depart from low vibrational energy so you can get in tune and tapped in with your body how your body feel how your body reacts to certain things okay and definitely be happy guys we got to focus on happiness you know regardless of what's going on right now i know it's a lot of saturn karma people getting a lot of karma but focus on happiness because as you focus on happiness you draw that in it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay, so these are the four things we can work on from now until June. You know, work on not blaming other people so much. No, at all. You don't really supposed to be blaming nobody. As they say, when you point your finger back, you got four pointing back at you. So you got to figure out, how did I allow myself for this person to trick me? Obviously, this person tricked me and I allowed it. So, how did I get myself wrapped up into this devil demonic energy? That's how you got to ask yourself. It's not pointing fingers because at the end of the day, that's not going to do no good for your growth. You got to ask yourself, okay, if I got caught up in this energy, if I got caught up in jail, if I got caught up with this person cheating on me, if I got caught up with all this stuff that I see in these cards, Lord have mercy. You got to ask yourself, how did I manage to get wrapped up in all of this? And nine times out of ten, the road going to lead back to you. What was your healthy attachments in that relationship? Were you codependent? Were you just believing what you wanted to hear and not was what you saw? What spirit was trying to guide you to see? Right? Did you see the red flags and you just overlooked it? So those are things you got to understand. This is self-awareness time, guys. This is the year. This is the time that we need to do a lot of self-reflecting. That's why hermit keeps coming out. We got to be in hermit mode. Hermit mode teaches you a lot. First of all, it teaches you about yourself. Also, you can listen to spirit when you're by yourself. God speaks to us in so many different ways. And if you're not alone... You're constantly being distracted, okay? You always have to take a little time, take some time out for the Lord. I don't care how busy you get, trust me. 
I get busy too. But I go, okay, let me take some time out for the Lord. Whether it's clearing my energy, whether it's meditating for a minute, whether it's just sitting still, 10, 10 on the clock, or whether it's going outside, something. Give God some of your time. Okay, you always got to because... That is who you need to follow. That is where you're going to get your intuition from. So you don't be falling for these fuck-ass dudes or these fuck-ass girls. You know, all this old trickery shit. And it's a lot of trickery because the devil is truly busy, okay? The devil don't want nobody to have nothing. So he's very busy. So, and also, you know, we just got to forgive people, honestly. That's just really the truth of it. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done. But forgiveness is what we need because at the end of the day, God forgave us. Jesus said, please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. One, one, oh, one on the clock. And I always try to say, if Jesus can forgive us after all that shit he got dealt with, what's, why we can't forgive? What makes us better than him? And that was God's son. So we are not no better than anyone. We're all equal, for real, for real. Whether it's high vibrational energy or low vibrational energy. Now, take it, everybody, yes, it's low vibrational people that has done some demonic things. But at the end of the day, that's why we're here as light workers, star seeds, galactic teams, as psychic mediums as tarot readers whatever you do to help the community light workers that's why we're here to get people on the right path some people is just evil and demonic and that's just what they are that's what they like that's what they choose to be and that's fine but make sure you are choosing those consequences that comes with all that too see that's the difference people want to do those bad things but they don't want to get the consequences to them and it's consequences to what you do. You reap what you sow. And this is the year of karma. So all for years. Okay, you hear that? 1221. Okay. So if you've been putting out good stuff, energy, positive affirmations. I've been speaking on this for quite some time. Affirmations, affirmations, affirmations. Focus on your self-love. Because all of that stuff get puts out into the universe all of that stuff you manifest and it comes back good to you but if you've been out here dibbling and dabbling you already know what's coming for you i'm not even gonna break it down okay you gotta focus on happiness okay high vibrational energy is the best energy because we're magnets guys we're magnets so and god is saying go to your divine feminine Okay, I want to put that out there for the people that are watching. But anyway, back to the singles. Um, you know, we're all magnets in this world, and so we get what we put out. And if you're putting out negativity and you're thinking negative every day, that's what you're going to create for yourself. You're going to create blockages. Okay? And Spirit is saying you're blocking your love. You're blocking your heart. You guys are in love with, with, with Divine Feminists. You're in love... You gotta love yourself and then if you're blocking your love that means you still got to work on your self-esteem you feel like you're not good enough to love someone okay and you are so that's a false example about reality that you, you're putting upon yourself all right so let's just break these cards down okay holy spirit give us some cards on blame from now until the remaining of the june what do you mean by this? Tower. Okay. Tower. And you see, blame. Okay. Now, I could read the blame too. It's like you could be blaming yourself a lot too. So, Spirit is saying, you got to learn how to forgive yourself too, guys. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, sorry, guys. Hit my ankle. Yeah, but you got to learn how to, you know, blame also can mean you're blaming yourself. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm, I'm, I'm this. I'm that. I'm this. I did so much horrible things. I'm a loser. I'm a did da, da, da. So you're going into a whole blame game on yourself. Because you're having towers. Because, once again, I say we're in a year of karma. So you're getting your karma back of what you did. 
okay so what spirit is saying too you can't be in blame game even if you did do something wrong you gotta learn how to forgive yourself okay if you did something wrong guys i mean we all have trust me did some wrong stuff and then be like, dang, why I do that? Why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. Da da da. But you can't go down that whole rabbit hole because once again, you're manifesting endings for yourself. Okay. All right. You're manifesting endings. All right. So. This may be going into a whole thing, guys. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, stop being in blame, blame your blaming yourself so much, and pick yourself up. Oh, I don't got a job. Oh, I don't got no money. Oh, da, 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 da. You're blaming yourself, and Spirit is saying, just end this shit and make changes in your life, guys. It's all about your perspective on how you can live your life you have the power to create it your life is a canvas have the power to create it so if you're thinking like this all the time that's what's going to manifest tower so don't be blaming yourself okay you got to love yourself know that you are divine love yourself once you love yourself you will have love guys you will but spirit want us to make these changes in our life. What do you need to work on? What do you need to build yourself? Build your vibration so you can be happy. Just don't settle for less. Don't just be like, well, I guess I'll just sit here and ain't nothing else going to know. Don't think like that. You can do it. You can change your life. But if you're going to think like this all the time, that's what you're getting. That's what you're getting. And also, for low vibrational car meters, y'all did that magic. Ain't no need of blaming nobody else for, for what y'all did. Okay? Y'all know what y'all put out. You know what you put out. You wanted to end the unions. Okay? You wanted to have nobody, you know... You wanted to be the ones to get married and want the masculine to marry you and this and this and that. And you did it. So there's no blaming on others. You got to learn how to take responsibility for yourself. And your finances has been affected. But you can make these changes, Spirit is saying, for some of you. Okay? Yeah. Raise your vibration. Others of you, you can be expecting some marriages. You will get married. Y'all will have y'all soulmates. You got to raise your vibration, Spirit is saying. Change your mind. Change your mental way of thinking. Love on yourself first. When you love yourself, you'll get your true love. You got to end that blaming, that negative thinking, that despair. Perspection in your mind. What's forgiveness? Alright. Wishing well. Family room. So some of y'all are wishing for family. Yeah. You wishing for finances, great fortune. And it will come. Okay, it will. So don't get bogged down about money money is not everything guys money will come when you raise your vibration and when you forgive others okay you gotta understand that this person may not come in your life so for some of you this is a story spirit is saying the person who betrayed you okay they may not you know you could be expecting some type of marriage from this person the spirit is saying they may not be coming back right now, guys. They may not be coming back. I and mean, that's just the truth. But still forgive them. Maybe you don't want them to come back. You want somebody new. But you still got to forgive them. Yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings in luck. 
okay but you still got to forgive okay the, the, the acceptance a part of it is they may not be coming back you gotta accept that okay because it may be over for them also everything may be ending in their life their relationship their money some of them wish death on you too so you know you gotta you gotta understand they may not come back now some of you you don't want your person back you just want new beginnings and that's okay but spirit is still saying you have to forgive okay okay you can't be communicating all angry all the time holding in anger okay you gotta understand that you still are divine feminine so you gotta act as such you can't be so angry and mad all the time okay Give and move forward so you can have your new beginning. Okay. Some of you do got a family that y'all wishing for. Like to have a child. I do see that with child here. A message. Okay. Somebody made you mad in a relationship and, and you communicated that probably said oh you ain't gonna see your child or something like that or maybe the child wasn't yours you just gotta forgive these people guys i know i know trust me see my let go crystal get you a let go crystal so you can let go of anger okay it was revealed about a mother here because my mother keychain about a child that's the message okay and yo you know for your divine masculines, you could have got word that the child ain't yours. And it's making you mad. And you don't want to forgive. But Spirit say you got to forgive. You don't have to go back with this person. But at least forgive so you can have a new beginning and move forward. Go on your pathway. Okay. But she was masking the fact that she had two. Two people she was messing with. And so the child wasn't yours. Can't make it up. Okay. And so you're probably not moving forward with this person. But that's okay. But you still got to forgive so you can mature and realize, you know, hey, that's the decision she made. You don't have to be in this person's life. Move forward. But don't keep it in your heart. And don't keep manifesting anger. Because that, that's going to manifest into your life. See? Okay. Others of you, you need to forgive and go on your pathway, your spiritual journey here, and be happy in your life. That is the message, okay? And some of y'all are still harboring anger from previous relationships that maybe you expected to get married and it didn't happen, it, it ended. And so now you're still in blame game and spirit is saying, let go of that blame, okay? It happened, it was over, it didn't work, let go. You, you're going to have a whole new beginning here with luck fortune everything stay happy stay positive okay forgive others because no one's person perfect no one's perfect i'm gonna say percy 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 somebody could be named percy But yeah, a lot of us, just the previous relationships that we fell in love with that got us in this despair, you know, it ended and, you know, we we all had a lot of tower moments in our life and so we remaining single, but Spirit is saying that's not, if you want true love, if you want to move on in your life, you got to let this shit go, guys, that's just the truth. You got to let it go. You got to forgive these people who did us wrong, cheated took our money yeah people that we courted that didn't do us right yeah they gave us burdens people that we was in relationships with kept us stuck frozen in time you gotta forgive these people and because we're not taking chances no more spirit is saying you still gotta have your heart open and take a chance because god will bring you your gift guys okay you'll find love 
okay? You got to go on your journey. You just got to mature. Spirit is saying, you just got to mature. That's it. Okay? And quit thinking everybody going to be sneaky and, and be in poverty. And you got to see low vibrational thinking. You got to get out of that. You got to get out of that thinking energy. Everybody karmic and everybody here to do this and that. I know. I do it too. Shoot. I be running now. I don't be wanting to see no man in my life. <laughs> but I can't be like that. I got to still be open to a relationship. Because if I don't be open to love, that means I don't love myself. And that's crazy because I love myself. So if I love myself, then I got to open my heart. To, to get any gifts that God is trying to bless me with. Okay. Even if I did go down the hard road. I learned lessons. So good. I got my lesson. Now I know to love myself. Now I know the aspects of a narcissist. Now I know when people lie to me. Now I know what to do. <laughs> so it's like. Yeah, you gonna get back out there. Yeah, we gonna get back out there, single ladies. We gonna get back out there, and we gonna be meeting the same people. But guess what? We've changed. That's the difference. Okay. Now we know. See, we was naive back then, but we know now. So that's the difference. Now we'll be able to cut fuck niggas out of our life quick, or or crazy women out of our life quick, cause we know now. See, we'll be able to. To have these, make, yeah, make these decisions. Okay, follow our intuition now. Okay. Because we mature now. You see? Yeah, we was cloudy before. See, it's, it's going to be some sunshine. We're getting out of these clouds. You're the same. We're going to be able to make a decision. It's going to be abundance for us in paradise. Okay, once we make this decision, Spirit is saying, you the privileged lady. It's going to be a message for you. So some of y'all are going to have to make a decision for this month of June. Spirit say it's going to take some time. Okay. So some of y'all, y'all going to have to make a decision in a relationship. You know, maybe it'll be about a company or about a business or about some contract here with message. About some money. Some of y'all gonna come into some money. With all this abundance here. Great fortune. Okay. Yeah. So you gonna get ready to come into some fortune. Single ladies. Y'all gonna be rich in this piece. Okay. Look at here. I can't make it up. Wealthy men. Yeah. God finna bless y'all. So no worries, God is saying. You're going to be happy. Happiness is coming. Okay? But you got to make a decision. I feel like some of this is after you make some type of decision. For some of you, you will get tested. Okay? You may have some people come back. Some of y'all, y'all ended it with a person that caused you strife. So because you ended, and you ain't going back. And you got to accept the fact that this person ain't coming back. This person ain't coming back. Okay, so whoever this is, you hear that sign. Your masculine is not coming back, okay? If they betrayed you or did anything to hurt you in a way to kill you, this person ain't coming back. This person is going to be going through major endings in this life. And you see what he might be doing too, but I ain't going to go there. You hear, you hear, the, you hear the motor, Okay. And it's eating away at him. It is. Okay, because he lost his true love. You hear that? Okay. Because he, he collaborated and worked with a snake to betray you. Knowing that you was the one that he should have went with. Okay. For some money. Instead of mending it with you, he mending it with the wrong person who worked hard, working hard, giving giving this person money, and this person was sick the whole time. Okay. Alright. But it matured your person. So your person to be mature. But I don't think he coming back. 
don't think he coming back. Some of y'all, you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to get a message here from a wealthy man. You may get a new man in your life. The spirit is saying, you're going to have to make a decision about a new man that got some money tight. Okay? So that's what's coming for you, single lady. So don't worry. We, you got a good life ahead of you. And they're going to be anchored in love, spirit is saying. You're going to be happy. You got happy on the board. So we just got to stay positive. Yeah, because he sees you as a mature woman. So some of y'all, 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 some may watch him. You don't know it. They could have some money. They could be admiring you. Yeah. got the let's see what this is because we got burden somebody burden maybe they want to court you but they feel kind of burden or something maybe i don't know what's this ice and pathway what's this uh i'm trying to think of the bear polar bear okay so they mad somebody mad this could be your past person yeah because they watching you. So, some of y'all going to get with some wealthy men. And your past people going to be mad. Because they're going to be stuck in this courtship with somebody else. They could try to send you a message. Yeah. They may want to try to communicate with you. Maybe you're going to get a message or something. I don't know. They may get mad. Once you get that good old wealth, you're going to get a wealthy man. Some of y'all going to come to you. I feel like your karmitas, they're going to try to be mad and try to stop this person from coming towards you. But this person coming. Yeah. Spirits say they want your heart to be open, though, to receive your gift, Divine Feminine. Yeah, your roses gonna be delivered at your house it's gonna say i love you and they may ask you to marry them okay could be after they divorce now some of you your person might be coming back whoever this is. but i don't know i just take your pick i feel like this is somebody new you may got somebody new your old person gonna be mad watching you stuck over there in that relationship they chose to betray you in. Okay, with this karmic. Others of you, it's just gonna be a brand new man that's wealthy. You're gonna be happy. Okay. They're gonna be over there hating on you stuck. Looking like this polar bear. Bro, in time. Knowing they should have been like, man, I should have went on my path, man. <laughs> you know, you're going to have your haters. Yeah, they want loyal spirits. Say that's why they're going to be over there in despair. They could be blaming you, Divine Feminine. Oh, man, it's Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine did it. They did it. They're going to be thinking it's so tough to get to you. Because they were thieves the whole time. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have your haters. But your wealthy man is going to love the heck out of you, single ladies. Look at this. You can't get no better than this. Look at this. No, I'm take these. You got so many good cards. I don't even know which ones to take. Let's just take the first these right here. So you go on your journey. Spirit is saying you go on your journey. This is what you're going to get, Divine Feminine, single ladies. Look at this. Look at all these good cards. If y'all go on y'all journey, on y'all spiritual journey, that's what God trying to bless y'all with. Okay? But you got to take that pathway. You got to mature yourself. You got to stay on that pathway. So you can't be in and out. You can't be in and out. You can't be wishy-washy. Okay? Because these thieves want to take your pathway. 
They weren't loyal. They went over there to these thieves and stuff. So now they just watching and hating on the divine feminine. So be careful. Keep low. Stay positive. God gonna bless you with it, but you gotta get on your journey. Okay, you gotta make that decision, Spirit saying. Because right now, a lot of y'all are stuck. Y'all just stuck, stagnant. Y'all not moving. Y'all not making no decisions. You're not forgiving. You're opening your heart. Practicing forgiveness, Spirit is saying. You letting time pass you by. You just in a cloud. So you gotta get out of that cloud. You gotta make that decision to go with God. Trust God. Get on your path. Stay vibrant. Stay happy. And don't be opening your legs to all these thieves. Cut them people out your life that don't serve you no purpose. You gotta get mature. Okay? And stop giving your money to people that are keeping you stressed. Sick. Working hard. For these snakes. Mending it with people that don't do nothing but work against you to betray you. Don't take these people back. All they want to do is eat your cheese. They ain't nothing but rats. Spirit saying, don't move forward with people that don't serve you no good. End it with these people. You see where they life going. Tower. And also, you got to forgive. Okay, make that decision to be happy and make that decision to forgive these people, but move on, you know. Because they they didn't have the right guidance either. You know, we all raised on who who was we raised with. It's eating them away that they did it to you. Okay. They know you make them happy. They know what they look like. And it's eating them away. It's eating them. It's making them sad, Spirit. Say they sad about it themselves. They so sad themselves, Divine Feminine. You don't even got single ladies. Y'all, you know, anybody that did y'all wrong, they so sad. They blame themselves so much. It's like, you don't even have to be mad or sad no more. Because they doing it, they sell. Because you privileged. They know they messed up, and they, they feel so bad themselves that you don't even have to be, yeah, you don't even have to be mad or sad at these people. Just forgive them and stay happy and move on. Because happiness coming for you, for sure. But you do got to take the journey. You got you got to release blame. You got to release anger. And just focus on loving yourself, man. Okay? And don't be blocking out your loves now, your true loves. Okay? Make that decision to follow your intuition. Okay? Because you winning. You winning out here. Okay? You got fairness and justice coming to you. You're going to be the queen of pinnacles. Alright? Okay? And you're going to have a lot of options in life. So Spirit is saying, you just got to make good decisions. And these people, gonna, they stressed out already because it did something bad to you. So you don't even got to be stressed out. They doing it for you. It's called karma. <laughs> so you don't even got to worry, Divine Feminine. Ladies out there, don't worry about these these people that did you wrong. They more they can't sleep at night more than you. You sleep good at night. They the ones over there stressed out. So that's what spirit is saying. They may not tell you. You're not gonna know that, right? Because they in a pride of ego. But just know they are. They are. Follow your intuition. Spirit is saying, and make them decisions to just keep moving forward. And, uh, and those of you that got soul partnerships, that, and if they betrayed you, Spirit said they're not coming back. You just got to accept they're not coming back, man. Spirit is not going to let them come back and, because they betrayed you. And that's just what it is. And you just continue to work because you got a destiny. You got big, happy changes. It's, it's time. It's time. Make a decision to keep working, speaking your truth. Cutting people out that don't deserve. And keep loving on yourself. Because you got a relationship coming. Single ladies. 
You do. You do. Okay. All right, but you know these tricksters and people that that tricks and manipulate. You gotta you gotta heal from that. Spirit is saying you gotta heal from that. These people, they don't they don't do y'all no justice. Okay. You take the lead, be in your power. You're beautiful. Follow your intuition. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. So, what's this Queen of Cups now? That fell out in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, you got a, be a new beginning coming. Some of y'all, your masculines might be coming back. But also, what's the Queen of Cups in reverse there? That just threw me off. Why is it in reverse? Okay, so your masculine, for some of you, your masculine communicated, this is a karmic that, that, you may have to communicate and tell this person that you don't love them. Okay? Because they may try to come back and apologize for some sex. So it's really saying, follow your intuition. You know this person ain't going to be loyal to you. You hear them horns. So you need to reject this person. Because this person ain't going to be right. Okay? Okay, and just continue to heal yourself and invest in yourself because this person ain't going to be right when they come back. That's what Spirit is saying. So they may try to come back and be like, I love you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> I want us to be together, blah, blah, blah. But meanwhile, they lying, Spirit is saying, and they doing magic, and it's going to be all for a son. So hold back. All right, so that has been your reading, guys. Once again, what goes around comes around. Deja vu, tarot.